welcome back to my channel. I am currently in London. I thought I'd do like a fun London vlog because yeah, I know you guys love the London content and I love being here and I've missed my little London trip. So I just thought I'd pop down for a couple of days. Uh, I'm staying with my boyfriend. We've just checked into this really nice hotel and I have a big day today. We've come down to do like a little bit of business and a little bit of fun. It's like a jewel, a jewel trip. Hold on, this fucking radiator is so hot. I have a big, I have a meeting today with my management. Just like about 2022, about my goals, what I want to get up to, what I want to do, what I want to achieve. We had one last year, um, and I think last year I was probably a bit depressed in that uni room. Um, so most of the things that we spoke about did not happen because I was just very consume with uni work and not in a very great headspace and um, we just got the train down here i need to just do my makeup and then i think we're gonna i don't know what we're gonna do today i think we might have a chill go for a walk it's a beautiful day like it's literal blue skies so sunny so i think we might go for a nice walk hyde park and then just grab some dinner just a very chilled trip r and r with my boyfriend which is exactly what i wanted but yeah let me give you a little tour and also i did an asos order to the hotel um because i just want like a nicer nice outfit for the for the meeting and i don't think it's come let me check my emails but i haven't had a email so like the thing i ordered for the meeting like i haven't got it so i have bought backups um i just hope that parcel actually gets delivered walk in it's actually a beautiful room very clean very minimal <laughs> just got the hiccups this is the bed i've all oh god i got the hiccups i've already unpacked this is all my shit i don't know where he's gonna put his stuff but you know yolo uh, all my stuff all my coats my shoes are down there that is probably just like random bits some track suits that's his compartment and he's got like the two hangers so hopefully hopefully he can fit his stuff in here and then just like some joggers and then that's like my tote bag i really like this wardrobe i think it's really cool like i just think it's really cool I've never seen a wardrobe like that before. Anyway, this is the bed. Nice, nice big windows. Look how sunny it is. I've done this because I didn't want the sun getting in. Look, it's beautiful skies in London. Like, how is this January right now? Got a view of, I don't know, this conservatory thing. Um, and then this is the bathroom. It's quite narrow. A little bit narrow, but you know, we're not complaining. Uh, I've got all my stuff already out little toilet i look crazy right now i've literally just got like the girls bathroom joggers on a little crop top um, and then a nice big mirror and yeah i think it's just a really nice room got a little desk here that i'm gonna do my makeup on and yeah also i discovered these the other day oh my god these are like the best things fucking ever i had a packet at my boyfriend's house and i was like oh my god what are these magical crisps Actually, as soon as I finished eating them, I went on Amazon. No, I think I went on Holland Barrett and bought a crate of these crisps because they are amazing. Like, if you like seaweed, don't be scared of the cheese. They don't really taste cheesy. They just taste, oh, they're just so delicious. Anyway, I fake tan last night and it's looking all right. I used Vita Libra, which I never use. I always, I'm a St. Moritz girl through and through. Um, but I was just feeling a little bit of a change and I'm, um, it's all looks alright, it's alright. So yeah, I'm gonna eat these. My boyfriend's just gone to grab us some lunch because it's just too rushed with what we're gonna do today. Today's like the business day. Tomorrow's like the fun. I'm looking for a new uni bag. I don't have one and I need like a good sustainable one, which is also gonna jewel as my hand luggage when I go on trips because I like to have a big hand luggage, like, I like to have a big bag for all my hand luggage. I like, I like putting my little handbag in there. I always bring my laptop, always bring my chargers, headphones, always have a water bottle, always have some sort of snack that I want to fit in there, like a banana, these seaweed crisps. Like, I need a big bag. You need, you need your laptops and you need your headphones. I need my keys. Do you know what I mean? So I need to look for one before I go back. They look like tempura ones. They look like tempura, do you know what I mean? And you get loads in this bag, look. 
Anyway, I showed these to this friend Shane, like, oh my god, I've just discovered these seaweed crisps. They're insane. They were like, we've been eating them for like two years. And um, and Sophia was like, yeah, I bought buy them on Amazon. I was like, what? So you've been gatekeeping these crisps for two years and you haven't told me. I was like, what? I thought I'd like made a cool new discovery. Anyway, right, I'm gonna do my makeup for my meeting. I'm gonna eat some lunch. Right, I'm gonna do my makeup now for my meeting. Um, it's quite early, but I'm gonna obviously do my makeup and then we're gonna have some lunch. So I'm gonna have got Modern Family on. Modern Family is will always be in my obsession. Like I struggle to sleep at night sometimes. I think just in the night, my my mind gets just too busy, and I'm like, oh my god, I haven't done this. I need to do this. Why have I not done this? Like it just gets overthinky and just busy. So I put Modern Family on, um, just to soothe me, just to like, fo I, I it I don't even watch it. I just leave it on so I can listen to it and I can focus on that instead of like having a busy mind and honestly it really works so maybe like if you're someone that struggles to sleep you could put on your favorite tv show or movie and then just listen to it and i'm guaranteed you'll fall asleep because it works every time also i've left my i've actually lost all my beauty blenders i don't know where they are there's one in my car a new one because i left the boots bag at olivia's house and it had it had one in and then I put it in my car and I've never, I've never taken it out. So this is going to be just like me showing you my products and like a little get ready with me in this vlog. Um, so I use NARS, um, what is this? Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation mixed with Tinted Glow Booster. This combo is delicious absolutely delicious thank you to melissa's wardrobe but sometimes i don't put this in because i found the charlotte tilbury uh highlighter so i don't need that if that makes sense so i just do on my brush i think this is by bonnie cosmetics brush just do a couple pumps and swirl that around on my face oh i should have done like a little q a but how have you all been i haven't really spoke to you um in January. <laughs> I don't really know what I've been doing. Actually, I do. I've been hibernating. I've been doing all my essays. I find it really hard when I'm really stressed to like show you that I'm stressed on camera. Like I just find it like you guys are going to think it's boring. Like because all I'm doing is just sitting there writing this essay. Like I don't know. So I get in my head like, oh my God, like I'm not showing you anything. Like, this is so boring. Um, so I kind of just refrain from vlogging or filming any vids because I simply just did not have time to edit a full video and upload it during my assessment time. I'm on to concealer. That's all kind of blended in. I need a fucking beauty blender. It's really pissing me out. Like there's only so much this brush can do. Sometimes it turns out great. Sometimes my face looks like I've just like smushed my face. Do you know what I mean? Um, I go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy in shade 22B Light Beige. Um, I don't just put it where you're supposed to put it, you know, TikTok hacks. This light is not the best for showing you my makeup. I don't really know what to do. It's very light. A bit of her, put a bit of her, put a bit. I don't know, TikTok showed me how to put on my concealer correctly, but I kind of just wing it. Anyway, I am back to uni um, on Saturday, actually. Uh, I'm really excited to go back, be with Maddie, like get into a routine. I'm going to join like a proper gym because I kind of, I like haven't found a gym that I love in Manchester yet. Um, and I don't really want to go to a pure gym because they kind of scare me. So I've just been like trying to find alternatives. Just want like a super low key, like chill gym with just like, Ooh, the weights that I need nothing crazy um so if you guys are living in Manchester and have any recommendations for gyms I would love to know because I have been going to the gym and not and I'm really I'm enjoying it um I go with my boyfriend sometimes or oh, the lighting is just very fucked up sorry I go with my boyfriend sometimes and I'm just really enjoying it so if anyone's got any recommendations for Manchester please let me know um, I know I've seen Barry's boot camp but I think that's more like classes and I'm a bit anxious to do them because I'm not a great runner and apparently they involve a lot of running. So I just don't want to look like the most unfit one in the class. Do you know what I mean? So 
So I'm like, oh, I don't want to go. I'm like, Maddie, will you come with me? Because I just don't want to go on my own. So yeah, I'm excited to go back to the gym. I'm excited to start my new modules. My modules are really fun this semester. Um, I have one about, it's kind of like a roundup of European history like through the wars it's a really fun one it's like covers germany italy britain russia cold war world war ii it's a bit of everything so i'm kind of excited for that because one time if i focus on one country like it does get a bit boring sometimes um so having different countries is fun so i'm really excited for that and then the other one is about britain i think it's in the 19 i don't know it's in the it's in the 20th century is somewhere in the 20th I think it's the 20th century I'm not too sure um uh, yeah so it's about Britain politics I don't know about Britain but my um academic advisor said that module um can be a bit political and political history is not my favorite so I think I'm gonna go to the opening week See how many weeks are politics um if not i can move to like a, i think there's a russia module um which one of my friends is doing and that looks quite fun the only reason i didn't pick that is because i did russia for a level so like i'd rather just do something a bit different if that makes sense because i think it would just all come flooding back and i just want to learn about something new but we'll see we'll see how we go we'll see how we go with this brit module so yeah I'm very excited and then I only do two proper modules this semester because I have an independent research pro project which takes the same time as a module so that's about China, gender wars in China. So I've got China, Britain and a bit of Europe so it's actually a really nice mix and I'm really excited if you, can, if you can't tell already because you know that is literally the only underwear I wear so I just wanted you to help me pick my underwear that I'm gonna to wear today. Obviously from Lamb Underwear, that's the only brand that I wear. Um, and they have some really cute bits in for Valentine's Day. You know, the pinks, the reds, I love it all. So anyway, I wanna show you the black pair first. Ooh, it's like a cute mesh bralette. The detailing, it's got little hearts on it and you can see straight through me. Ooh, so it is mesh. And I just think this is the prettiest shape. I love the gold hardware. There's some on the back as well. The straps are adjustable. And I just think this is like the cutest, sexiest little bralette. I just can't get over the mini hearts. I think they just make, I think they just make it. Triangle shape just suits everyone, keeps your boobs supported because of this big, thick black band. And yeah, I just think it's so dainty. It comes with these matching um, pants. Really cute, again, it's got the thick band and then it's also got the mesh hearts. Uh, it's not a thong, this one's more of a wide brief, but still cute nonetheless. Love these, perfect pair. Sorry about that, I got ready and I've done my makeup, had a shower and stuff. And um, so let's resume the haul. I still need to pick what underwear I'm gonna wear today. Second favorite set, which is obviously pink. It's this like gorgeous, gorgeous? gorgeous fuchsia pink bra um, and it's so cute it's mesh again but it's got like flower detailing in the cup beautiful um, and this is like a more supportive bra it's got an underwire so this is more your liffy titties up more than the other one um, and then it comes with matching matching thong which is super cute it's got the mesh detailing again oh my god I just realized the adjustable straps Look at that, it's a little heart. Oh my God, I want that to focus. Oh my God, that is so cute. It's just the details. I just love the details. I've also got another pink. I already wore this in one of my picks um, because I just couldn't not. It's just so cute. This one, let me just do it up for you. More like of a baby pink. So if you're not a fan of hot pink, have you seen like, you've seen Legally Blondes? Where like one is like super into hot pink and then one likes baby pink i feel like if you're a baby pink kind of gal like the other blonde this is your color and it's so pretty it's like mesh but it's like got no um what's it called it's got like no edges it's super cute and like frayed i just think it's so cute again it's the triangle shape super flattering and you've still got a bit of support with that thick band just perfect valentine's um, and then it comes with a matching thong okay again with the same cutout pattern and then thong and i really like these thick straps like i really like them because like you know your underwear's not gonna fall down right this is more of like a red pink you see that red pink because this one 
it's like a hot pink there that's the difference because i thought they were the same bra until i put them next to each other so this is more ready um again it's so pretty it's like lacy with some like gorgeous detailing again it's got an under boob like an under wire so your boobs are locked in there very secure adjustable straps as always and the back it's like this like cut out detail i just love it lounge just love your details and then it also comes with a matching thong which i like this one's got thin straps um, and i kind of like it I, I think the thin straps are a little bit sexier than the thick ones but the thick ones are a bit more comfortable i don't really know i don't really know but it's got the same lace detailing and it's got this like gorgeous little like i don't know disc thing up front um yeah and then a thong at the back i really like this one this is the one that I wore in my Instagram picture, not the other one. I wanted to shoot in that one, but then I also love this one and I couldn't decide. So I shot in this one. It's like super pretty, so flattering this cut. Okay, the last thing I picked up, it was an intimate set. So these are like the more sexier full piece body sets. Again, it's in this gorgeous colour. So I'll show you the pieces. This is the bra. It's got like a little cut out there. Again, super lacy, super mesh. Really cute. So you've got that on. Ugh. And then you get the pants. These are the pants. Again, thong. And look how nice this is. Look how this detailing on the side. It's like a jewel thing. So that's your bra. Those are your pants. Um, and then you put this belt on which again matches and it's got an adjustable thing at the back um so you can like it's like a bra strap so you can put it as tight and loose as you want which i like because sometimes when you buy like little belts like this they're sometimes too tight or they're like falling down so this one's perfect perfect so you can adjust it to your body then you get these to attach onto like your legs or your stockings and i just think the full set it's just really cute. It's absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day. <laughs> my camera died when I was filming. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. And I need to um, just do my lips. But this is what I'm wearing for my meeting. These are my favorite bodysuits at the moment. They're so thick, such a quality. And they have all different styles. But I'm loving this like little turtleneck. And you don't have to fake tan. I've got it in white as well. But this is what, this is my outfit. Body suit, some joggers, just nice jewelry. Got my watch on. Got some cool sunglasses. Took these on my ski trip. I kind of like a rich mum in these sunglasses. And they have like nice pearl detailing there. Um, and then I'm just gonna put on my Dior bag and my blazer and I'm already booked my get. Oh, he's here. Let's go. Hi guys, so I'm already, I'm at the office. I've just had my meeting. I didn't bring you in with you because I forgot I should have vlogged the meeting room. Because it's actually a really cool room, but I literally just forgot. We're in deep, deep chats. Oh, loads of fun stuff happening. Loads of fun stuff planned. I'm very excited to get this here underway. Oh, God. Oh, you scared me. I was very... Oh, no, oh, sorry. I thought you in the meeting. I was like... Oh. Manager just came. One of my managers just came up and I thought he was in the meeting and I was so scared. I was like, because everyone's in um, a meeting now. So the office is empty. So I thought I'd just give a little office tour. Um, these are some desks. Really nice desk. Oh, and I got some gorgeous products gifted by Elemis and Bobby Brown. So I'll give you a haul when I'm back. I was like, oh, came to the office and presents for me. I was like, wow. But they have a really nice view of, I think this is called Fitzroy Square. Really cute view. So yeah, I'm all done now. I think it was like an hour and a half. I don't really know. Um, but I'm gonna go, look. Margarine. Margarine. And I had to buy my blazer for my my big girl meeting but oh i'm gonna get i'm gonna order again and go back to the hotel um i don't actually know what we're gonna do i don't know what we're gonna do i'd like to have some dinner made in italy because that's our favorite restaurant if you haven't been to made in italy oh my god what are you doing in your life literally you need to go i use this app called get every time i come to london which is like uber for black cabs so like, look you order a black cab like you order an uber and the black cab just comes it's just cool. Like, I'd much, much rather get in a black cab than an Uber, if that makes sense. But, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So, let's go. Oh, I just walked into the kitchen. I think it's this one. 
to get home. Okay, it's a lot, lot later now. We've just been chilling and I'm ready for dinner and my hair, I think it's hair wash day. We need to find a boot and yeah, hopefully it's still open because I need to fucking wash my hair. It's the same bodysuit but in white on. This coat, which is actually Chinsia's uh, and some joggers that I'll show you. And we're going to Main Nisley, which is our favourite place ever in London. It's just on King's Road and it's the best Italian food. And I'm craving their normal pasta, which is my absolute favourite. I have an absolute obsession with aubergines right now. So normal pasta is like grated ricotta cheese on top with aubergines and like tomatoes. Oh, it's so good. It's about like a 10 minute uh, walk from where we're staying, so... We're getting our steps in, ladies and gents. We've got to be in Italy. And I'm very excited for some food right now. This is the menu. I don't know what I'm gonna have. Do you know what you're gonna have? No. I'm really not sure. Because whatever you have, I'm gonna have a bit of it. It's gonna be good. He knows I'm definitely gonna have. I'm definitely gonna have Norma, but I just kinda want like a little bit of it. Sadder. But what is that starter? This is what they've got. In summer we had the poppettas and they were amazing, but I don't know if I'm feeling that today. Maybe I want, maybe I'll get some bruschetta. And then where's my Norma pasta? Oh my God, there it is. <laughs> Found it. Our food has come and it looks insane. We've got some bruschetta and then we've also got this parmesan pizza. Oh my God. Funny story. We ordered a vegan pizza and then we wanted parma ham on it so then we ordered like a parma ham pizza and they just brought out two pizzas one vegan and one with the parma ham on and i was like oh shit like oh no like we wanted the vegan with the parma ham they're like oh my god i'm so sorry so they've just redone it for us i felt so bad and we looked so fat with two pizzas um but it's fine all sorted now we are back now at the hotel taking my makeup off thank god i've had that makeup on you know when you do like accidentally put too much foundation on and it goes like thick that was my makeup today and i didn't like it so i need to take it off we had a lovely dinner at made this it was absolutely beautiful um and as pair fucking forgot some toothpaste as well i don't have any toothpaste and this guy forgot a fucking toothbrush so i'm just on the hotel's got an app which you like text them and like please can i have a toothbrush and anyway, we went to sainsbury's picked up these snacks for dessert this is deliciously a la salted caramel almonds and this is like a honeycomb like bar it kind of looks like crunchy and this is really nice but it's really hard and i almost cracked my teeth with it when i first tried to bite in it i had to like bite from the back of the mouth do you know what i mean and these, mm, they're okay. I wouldn't buy these again. So it's kind of not my favourite. Do you want to try one? No. Yeah. I'm not a fan of these. Good morning, everyone. I've just woken up. My eye makeup, I don't think I took it off as best as I could. I look super rough. Like, super rough. Ugh. But I'm gonna just do like my skincare routine, have a quick shower. I need to wash my hair this morning. Um, and then we're gonna go out for some breakfast, I think. I think that's the plan. I think we're gonna go juice baby. Um, Cause we want like a green smoothie and I really want an acai bowl. Um, I, my boyfriend went to the shop this morning. I was like, please, he just pick up like any shampoo and conditioner, like not massive ones because like, I only need it for today. I was like, please, can you just pick up something? And he came back and he was like, you're not gonna like this. And I was like, what have you got? He's like, I got this. What is wrong with boys? Head and shoulders, two in one. I said, I appreciate you going to the shop and I appreciate you think, like remembering and whatever, but you really think I'm gonna use some hair? How am I supposed to condition my hair? I thought, oh, man, fucking useless. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? My hair needs washing. They have some little things down here, but what is it? Oh, they've got a conditioner, okay. And they've got body lotion. Right, okay, so I think I'm gonna have to use this and put some conditioner on. So let's see how my fucking hair turns out. I don't have high hopes for this. 
Um, but yeah, we've got a lovely day ahead planned and it feels like summer. The sun is shining. Our room is really hot because we don't know how to turn the radiator off. So that's great. It just feels like summer, summer vibes. And I'm loving it. Feels like last like April when I used to come to London. But it's January. I ran out of storage on my camera. So I had a shower and I washed my hair. And now I'm just going to put on some makeup because we're gonna go and get ice acai bowls and I'm starving. Literally so hungry. I started doing my makeup yesterday, but then yeah, I ran out of, no, my camera died yesterday, that was it. Always an issue with this fucking camera. So I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll show you where, like I left off sort of thing to show you the products I use because I like sharing makeup. Not that I'm a makeup expert, but. I like it. I'm going to put some Modern Family on as well. Skipped a little bit further ahead than I probably should have. Um, but I just put on my highlight, which is the Charlotte Tilbury one. One of them. I've been loving this palette recently. It's the Makeup by Mario one. So good. Literally the best colours. Um, I need to get some new makeup brushes. I just don't... I literally have like one good one. Like I need to get some. So I just dip in these two shades those two shades at the top and then just like you know i'm quite basic with my eyes i always have been oh yeah big news i am going to the brits next week with chinzia and i'm so fucking excited you have no idea it's literally in a week um and i don't have an outfit don't know what to wear like harry styles is gonna be there I don't know what I'm gonna fucking wear. Like, I think I'm gonna go for like a cute short dress. I wanna go in like pink. I really do like pink, like hot pink. But I wanted to do like a blazer mini skirt situation. But finding like a matching blazer, matching skirt is so fucking hard. Um, is so hard. So I think I'm just gonna, I don't know. I think I'm gonna find a pink dress, but I definitely wanna wear pink, I think. It was gonna look good for the Brits. But yeah, that's all I do really. Minimal eyes, minimal eyes. And then I go in with, where is it? I go with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk uh, mascara. But like, I find at the end of the day, like all the mascara has like dropped down um, underneath my eyes. And I don't know how to stop that from happening. Any advice or like, I need a new mascara. Like, how do I stop that from happening? Cause literally I came up for my meeting yesterday and I just have all black underneath my eye. And I'm like, why the fuck is that happening? Like, is it because my eyes are teary and up? Like, I don't know, with the sunlight. I don't know, but it's dropping down and it's making me look weird. So any mascara recommendations will be appreciated. I didn't bring my Refi brow stuff to London because I'm an idiot and I forgot. So I literally just put a bit of mascara through my brows. <laughs> Hacks. And then I finish off with the Airbrush Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I like a lot of that. Just refreshed. Ah, yeah, and then lips. But I'll do my lips when I'm about to leave. I need to straighten my hair and stuff. And then we'll go get some acai bowls. Yummy. Okay, I just straightened my hair already for the day. I still need to do my lips. But I need to pick what to wear. So I thought I'd just do a little haul. Okay, we've just got to Joe and the Juice. We ditched Juice Baby because it got a bit too late. I've got a tuna cardo. I got a uh, pick me up. And then this man here got a pure celery juice because he's fucking reckless. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally pure celery juice, guys. I mean, if it's good enough for Kylie Jenner, it's good enough for us, I guess. Also, a man just walked in. He looks like Tom Felton out of Harry Potter. I literally thought it was Draco Malfoy, look. That man at the tail. I popped it out, yeah. He looks like Draco Malfoy. Okay, it is a little bit later now and we went shopping. I just think a little bit naughty because I really needed a uni bag, like a hand luggage bag. And I found one yesterday, kind of fell in love with it. So I went to go see it today and I couldn't resist. So I'll give, I'll do like a full unboxing when we're, when we're back. But we're just going for a little walk, we've had a pic. 
and we've kind of got early dinner at like quarter past six so I think we're just gonna go back now and chill and I need to edit the Italy vlog because hopefully that'll go up tonight um, but yeah there she is in all her glory <laughs> fucking huge bag they gave us like, I can't even carry it because it's so big um, so yeah I'm very excited to show you and now I can't wait, can't wait to get back to uni yeah Okay, we are back now, but I just wanted to show you how these trousers looked on. This little top is from Zara. I got it in the sale. It was literally like £3. Uh, but these are the trousers. They're just like cool, oversized. They're just really comfy. They're from ASOS. Um, and I love them. And then I'm just wearing a little bra. And then I've got some new hoops from ASOS as well, which are really cute. They're like these like really fat, gold, chunky ones. I put a link on my Instagram. So there will be in my like clothing highlights on my Instagram. Let me show you what I got. Ah, the woman was so lovely and I don't understand why I didn't vlog in there, that was so silly. But we just nipped to M&S and I got these snacks. Oh shit. Like that? Yeah, that's good. How do I it's start? the camera, it's already starting. Oh shit. I, I, I played it. Right, oh, right. My toe really hurts when I was fucking trainers. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little unboxing. Damn! Don't shake it! Um, this is me with my bag. Right, do you want to give them a little... Oh my god! <laughs> 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 right, just... Um, this is like not the most aesthetic unboxing you'll ever see in your life. But I'll try my best. Ooh! Right, this is what I bought everyone. Ooh. Oh, that wasn't the smell. Here she is. Here she is. She's so cute, isn't she? This was a very impulsive buy and as soon as I bought it, I kind of had like a fear of like, fucking Buyers hell. Remorse. Yeah, because I literally just found this yesterday, but I have seen a version on Money Man. I, I always knew I liked this bag. And I like like the full black hardware. Um, so I got this for like uni and like traveling. This is gonna be my hand luggage to put my laptop in, like my water bottle. And I literally said to the sales assistant, I was like, there was two sizes. There was w this size and then one bigger. Um, but the bigger was big, wasn't it? Mm. And I said to her, look, the big kind of drowns me because I'm quite small. So I was like, I, all I need to do is be able to fit a laptop in it and maybe like, a water bottle so she went to go and get someone's laptop from the office um so i could see if it could fit a laptop in and it did 13 inches so perfect so i was like i'm sold so i got the smaller size because it doesn't drown me and it looks nice sorry i didn't vlog in there i literally walked in and i was like we're just having the best time with the services she was so lovely so this is my new little baby oh i think there's another place are you trying to zoom in? <laughs> yeah, on the better. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go for some dinner. At Daphne's, which I'm very excited for. I went there with Flossie before and it was nice. Okay, we just come to Daphne's, um, and this is our first course. We've got, this is melanzane, and we've got some prawns, which actually look delicious. Yeah, very so nice. So we're gonna have a share. We literally got this like whole restaurant to ourselves. It's quite early, it's like quarter past six, but it's very cute. I really like this vibe. It's very cozy. And we've got a debate going on because that, that is a real fire. But this man here is saying it's an electric fire. Like, how is that electric? I said, go put your hand in it then. It's literally flames. What, how? It's fake. No, it's, how is that? Go put your hand in it then. No, it's gonna, it's obviously gonna burn me. But well, then it's a real fire then if it's gonna burn you. Here we go. Got us a Coke. Oh my God, and they just came over. I've got no lips up by the way, it's really annoying. They came over and just gave us two glasses of Prosecco and we were like, is this complimentary? Has someone sent this? Is? Like, what the hell? And then we didn't drink any because we were like, what the hell? And then they came over and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, I like, made a mistake. I was like, thank God we didn't drink any. Can you imagine? Try this for two glasses of Prosecco. Okay, main course of arrived. I've got this ravioli. I had this last time, but I panicked and I just got it again because I knew it was amazing. Um, he's got some card and then he's got some potato. Oh, I'm sorry. Sea bass, potatoes, and then some spinach. And God, why can't I name anything right today? Broccoli. And then I've got some ravioli, which is delicious. So I'm going to dive in. Okay, we are back now. 
I was going to have dessert, but we decided against it. It was getting very... Daphne, Daphne's? Daphne's? I don't know what you call it. It was getting so busy and it was full of just like upper... I didn't realise the kind of vibe it was in that restaurant. I just thought it was like a good Italian restaurant, but like some of the people in that, it's like all older, middle, like upper, middle class, upper class, older people. That was easily the youngest one in there, so. Do you realise it was like the kind of vibe? But now I know. But food was delicious, I'm very full. We just went for a nice walk around the area and went to Sainsbury's to get some more snacks. Um, did I show you the snack bar yesterday? Did I show you the snack bar? Well, I've fallen in love with this fucking snack bar. It's basically a crunchy bar. It's so nice. Um, so we're just gonna get one of them. I'm just gonna take my makeup off. I use Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. It's good, but it's not like Clarins and Animus. I got it off Beauty Bay. It does the job. It gets the job done. But we're gonna get to bed and probably watch a film. Okay, I've just taken my makeup off. I haven't, I do it really badly because I just, it's one of the worst steps in a routine. I just do it really badly and then when I go to bed, I fully cleanse, moisturize, properly take it all off because I just wanna get in bed. I've uploaded, I uploaded the Itty vlog today. So if you haven't watched that, go and watch that now. One of my favorite vlogs. I love it. I haven't posted in ages, so I was like, oh my God. But I've missed it and I'll be posting regular vids again. Also, I'm gonna go, I've had the green lights from the girls and I'm gonna post uh, the Kardashian TikTok. Cause it is hilarious and they said I could. So I'm gonna do that now because I've been getting loads of comments on my recent TikTok like, please, please post it, please post it. So I'm like, and the top comment has got 300 likes. So I'm thinking I'll post it cause I feel really mean. Okay. What would you ladies like to drink? Orange soda, please. Right, okay. Oh, I'm quite anxious. Right, okay. What should the... What should I caption it? Just like... I don't know. I'm going to have to ask a group chat. Let me, let me see if I can ring Jen. TikTok makes me anxious. I don't know what to caption things. I know I'm just sure. oh, What a rude bitch. Right, I'm going to have to... Oh, she's ringing the back. Hi. Yeah, but can you just give me a caption for the TikTok? It's it. Girls that get it, get it. <laughs> okay, that's it then. She hung up. That's great. I don't really want to put that. That's kind of shit. Maybe I'll just put... I'll have an orange soda. Should I put orange soda, please? Is that funny? Right, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Hi guys, um, I've just been editing this vlog and realised I didn't finish it. Um, but all we did is I woke up the next day, did my makeup, and then we left. We left London and it was really sad. But now I'm back in Manchester and I'm gonna be filming a back to uni vlog. So go and watch that, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog and um, see you soon.